Welcome to lockdown in Belarus. For two weeks I've been locked down in this apartment in Minsk that I rented. Two weeks I haven't been allowed out, surviving on takeaway McDonald's, delivery McDonald's. And tormented by this picture of China reminding me every single day just <laughs> as to why we're in this situation. Anyway, it's okay because today I'm released. I'm a free man. Yoo-hoo! So, um, yeah, let's get out. Let's get onto the streets of Minsk and see what's happening. Join me. Might be fun. Into the old oh, Soviet lift we go. Check out this, this is a real old school Soviet lift. Shit. You've even got to do this. Close the old metal doors. Like closing the doors to a gulag. Right, number one, here we go. What happens if I open the doors midway? Anything? Oh, oops. I think I've broken the lift. We're going very slowly. <laughs> Damn, never experiment in a Soviet lift. Imagine getting trapped in here for a few hours. Right then, we've got to go out into the streets. This is the first time I've been out in two weeks, literally. Oh God. Oh God, I'm scared. I've got agoraphobia, I think. What's it like out there? And I'm trapped. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> I'm locked inside. It is like a gulag. Oh, oh my God. What's it like out here? Ah, oh, the sunshine in my eyes, my God. After two weeks of being indoors, I'm blinded. Today is the 9th of May, which means in the former Soviet countries is when they celebrate victory over the fascists day, the end of the Second World War, or as they call it here, the Great Patriotic War. So you could say that the Soviet army were the original Antifa. Just without the green-haired lesbians. <laughs> All right, anyway, I want to show you something really interesting here. A little piece of history that you might not know about. So um, let's go and check it out. In 1959, Lee Harvey Oswald went on holiday to Moscow. Whilst there, he claimed asylum. The Soviets didn't really want him. They realized he was a bit of a nutter, but they acquiesced and they sent him to live in the provinces in Minsk. And he lived in an apartment for three years up there, up on that top floor up there. A little piece of little known history for you, Cold War history. And if you don't know who Lee Harvey Oswald is, was, well, he was the man who um, didn't shoot Kennedy. It's a really strange sensation being back on the streets after so long locked up inside. I can only imagine how it's been for Spaniards and Italians. I was only locked up for two weeks. But still, to be on the streets with people and energy and, you know, people walking around, it's, um, yeah, it feels kind of a little bit disconcerting. Um, and what you'll notice about the people in Minsk is, is that hardly anyone, if anyone, is wearing a face mask. Unlike in England and our countries in the West, where everyone seems to be. Gracias, gracias. Спасибо вам. Yeah, I hear people just like a very lace affair attitude towards it all. So um, yeah, people are out mingling, celebrations. No one's really that bothered to be honest with you here. Anyway, onwards. Let's go look at some tanks, tanks and stuff. Oh, check out these guys I've met on the bench going to the parade. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello, England. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> See, people are so friendly here on parade day. These are the people going to the parade. Look at everyone going to the parade, all dressed up. Everyone's in their nice outfits, and there's me in my old grey tracky bottoms. <laughs> Looking like a bombsh. 
Anyway, we've arrived here at the um, parade. Over there are all the soldiers. And up there, you can see the tanks and stuff that are going to be coming down. So I'm going to find a little spot here on the grass. And then um, let's watch some military parades, some Belarusian military parades. Let's see what hardware they've got. Let's check it out. Royce. Look like it. Well, I mean, as parades go, kind of when you've seen one green tank go past or one green van, you've kind of seen them all. So, uh, yeah, it gets old pretty quickly. But anyway, let's see what happens. I think the um, I think the helicopter is going to come in the plane. So um, let's have a look. See what happens. Those are the shoppers from the Rambo film. I don't know if you can see it or not, but on top of that building it says Minsk Gorod Geroy. What does that mean? Minsk Gorod Geroy means Minsk Hero City. Now, after the Second World War. Um, the Soviet Union created 12 hero cities in the Soviet Union, basically. Um, cities that suffered more than others. Leningrad, Moscow, Smolensk, um, yeah, Odessa and Minsk, of course, because Minsk being in the path of the invading fascists when Operation Barbarossa started, suffered more than pretty much anywhere. Um, Minsk was a city that was completely destroyed. The population were killed pff, yeah, in huge numbers. And so Minsk is a Gorod Geroy, hero city. There you go. It'll be a fact for you. And these are the heroes of Minsk, the people who live here. Anyway, that was the parade. Not too interesting, come but interesting to see some tanks and stuff anyway. But what is interesting is I met an old mucker that I know of mine. Somebody who actually lives in Minsk, a foreigner from Ireland, believe it or not. Minsk is only Irishman. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and he was telling me that outside of Minsk, at a place called the Stalin Line, there's some kind of reenactment they're gonna be, what are they gonna be doing there? Uh, the storming of the Reichstag. The full reenactments, tanks, guns, soldiers, motorbikes, cars, you name it. Oh hell yeah, we're going to see the storm in the Reichstag. Explosions, tanks. Can we fire some rockets? I think we could fire some rockets. Wow, God, he's building it up, he's building it up. Don't listen to him, I'm sure that's not true. But anyway, we're going to jump in a cab and we're going to head over there. It's about half an hour away, I think. So, uh, should we go and check it out? Let's do it. Let's, um, let's do it. Look who it is, it's Uncle Joe Stalin. We've arrived at the Stalin line, which is um, the old border between the USSR and Poland before the war. And um, yeah, we're gonna go now when we mate here. We're gonna go and see the storming of the Reichstag. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go and see some Germans get killed. Wow, it's all kicking off. It's like Stalingrad. Here we come the Soviets. They're making a counter attack. <laughs> the Nazis are retreating. Soviet and Nazis. Who's going to win? I wonder. Come on, guys. Kill some Nazis. What's wrong with you? I think they're breaking the Geneva Convention inside that building. I'm seeing some, um, some Nazi soldiers getting beaten up. Hurra! <laughs> Just me. <laughs> We've won. We've won. I never knew how it ended. Now I know what happened. Slava Army Asvoba 
Well, that's the end of my first day out of lockdown. Saw a parade, saw some tanks, storming of the Reichstag, kind of. Hope you enjoyed it. More to come, hopefully, from Belarus, my favourite country, because there is no lockdown anymore. All right, guys, until next time. Does he, Daniel? I didn't tell you, he has a YouTube channel. Look at him, he's doing, he's doing his outro. Look at his professionalness, how smoothly he does it. Not like me, having to do 10 takes. Oh, do you hear that? Subscribe, like and subscribe. There's nothing worse than when someone says like and subscribe. Yeah, he's going closer. Oh, well done, mate. Wow, first time. Put it there. What a pro. What a professional vlogger he is. See that? I could learn a tip or two from this guy.